Todd, anyone else you want to bring up to tell their story? Bob, you want to tell your story? I'll put you on the spot. He said he's shy, but he's not. I was not by any stretch of imagination shy. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> I, just, I just really didn't plan on it. I agree, though, it's fair. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Hello everyone, thank you again for coming out to support this cause. This is a, uh, an amazing uh, turnout for uh, something that is absolutely this critical. Uh, so, uh, for those that don't know my story, uh, I was a Pennsylvania State Trooper, uh, returning from an uh, overnight assignment uh, on Interstate 81, which seems to be the trend, and uh, uh, stopped to aid a motorist whose vehicle was on fire uh, as I was uh, attempting to aid that motorist. Another vehicle lost control, traveled off the roadway, struck a guide rail, continued on into the back of my car, which then went forward and struck myself. Uh, very badly injured, uh, spinal injury, lots of broken bones. Uh, spent 55 days in the hospital, was out of work for eight months. Uh, returned to work in a limited capacity before I, I decided to retire. And after retiring, uh, I decided that I would lend my voice uh, to this campaign to, to help to raise awareness to all of the hazards that are present every day on the roadway and to, to draw attention to the fact that those first responders out there have families, uh, they are people, uh, and they need they need your support, they need your care, um, they need you to, to understand your responsibilities uh, as, a, as a member of the motoring public to uh, everyone else out there. Don't focus on things that are important to you inside your own vehicle, focus on, on the things that matter. Um, and so, uh, from that, uh, from the time that I was injured to now, uh, I've, I've dedicated myself to, to doing what I need to do to make sure that this uh, this campaign continues. It's a never-ending mission. It will never end. Um, but we, we could we could sit down, we could talk, we could discuss about all of the issues and do the things that we need to do to make our all of our responders safer out. That's that is not only the, the slow down move over, but the the addition of the lighting, the addition of uh, issuing all responders personal protective equipment that will actually help potentially mitigate some of those injuries, uh, all those different uh, issues. And, and I will continue to do this uh, you know, as long as I can. So thank you very much, uh, Senators. Uh, thank you. killed on Interstate 81 just north of Stratton, Pennsylvania. Early morning hours, a day after his 29th birthday, we were out throwing a vehicle over and a tractor trailer came down and came in the shutdown lane and hit my son. I was standing five feet next to him. You would never believe what I see that awful morning. Ever since then, we've been pushing for the people to slow down and move over. We have billboards up along the interstate year long, year round, to get the message out to slow down and move over. We had several tow truck drivers get hit in our area, but unfortunately none of them got, ki got killed but badly injured. So my son, on behalf of my son, I'm glad that Doug and whoever had this to get done with the blue lights I see it is going to help. Um, we're definitely going to slow down when they see blue lights for the biggest police officer. And I really want to thank uh, Doug for getting the clock passed. And uh, there's probably a lot more to do, but we just got to get the message out there. And uh, it's hard to live with, but we have to move on and do what we have to do. And thank you for letting us do Do more than what you lost in either. Uh, Tyler's mom. <clears throat> Hi, thank you everybody for being here. Um, I'm known as Tyler's mom. Tyler Loudensegger was 29 years old when he was struck and killed in Brooks County. Worked for HS Towing. Um, soon after Tyler was killed, we stood right here with Senator Mastriano and multiple other representatives and senators um, trying to pass. Senate Bill 1281, and we did thank you very much. Um, me and Tyler's widow and sister, we have been very involved in trying to spread the so now move over message. We 
going to conferences, events, um, just trying to make everybody aware that you need to pay attention out there on the roadway. I, I'm pleased to hear that another family has to go through what we've been going through. Um, and I'm going to tell a quick personal story that just happened two days ago uh, with my granddaughter. As we've been saying, uh, as Todd's been saying, we have to start teaching this law and this rule very young. So my daughter and I, or I'm sorry, my granddaughter and I were on our way to the fire expo. We stopped at McDonald's. I got her situated in the back seat with her meal. I put my breakfast sandwich on my lap and she said, Noni, and she's only three and a half years old. She said, Noni, you cannot drive while you're eating because that's distracting driving. So as you can see, we talk about that a lot in our house. But kids are listening, so that's where we have to start. They need to tell the adults um, what they're supposed to do behind the wheel. So again, thank you very much. Be safe to all our responders, and thank you for what everybody does. Have a good day.